All right, what is up, y'all? I'm here to bring you in a very important VeChain and XRP update. Okay, I think both are in very critical price levels, so we're going to talk about the technical analysis, uh, what I see happening with both in the near future. We're also going to talk about the uh, Spark Token airdrop, uh, the participating uh, partners in terms of uh, wallets for the snapshot. So if you like the sound of that, I'd like to ask you if you could please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And guys, we're also starting a Discord group down in the description below. You can sign up with our Discord. We're going to be talking about the trades we're looking at, uh, very important time-sensitive time technical analysis, and just interesting stuff uh, we find going on, resources, all that good stuff. So check out our Discord, y'all. And uh, yeah, uh, also at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about gold back cryptocurrency. So stick around to the end if you want to hear more about that. So let's delve into this, guys. Uh, I think XRP is forming a wedge here. It's very clear. Uh, so I, I think, you know, XRP is very likely to move sideways within this wedge for some period of time because I believe we're range bound due to us being in a very similar place that we were back here in 2019. Uh, we have significant resistance here at 50 cents all the way down to uh, the low 40. So um, it makes sense that we have support and resistance all throughout this range. So if we look here in the short term, it would make sense that we're kind of range bound uh, in this area for the time being because we have uh, support and resistance on all sides um, in the near term here so uh, that's something to look out for i think this wedge is currently uh the pattern that makes the most amount of sense i mean you could also argue that we're in a descending triangle ultimately it's, it means the same thing we're moving sideways within um, a, a pattern where we will likely see an apex and thus a breakout at some point here also interestingly the weekly when's the weekly oh guys the weekly closes in two just under three hours look at this we guys if this weekly candle closes like this that's gonna be the most insanely bullish candle that's uh that's crazy like there there hasn't been a that bullish candle since uh september 20th um september 2018 so those are some of the interesting things out uh to look for with uh xrp you know whatever way we break out we're lucky to do so significantly so i'm gonna be uh, keeping my eyes out for this apex and this breakout again we could always find support on one of our emas but who knows right okay so uh now looking at v chain i think v chain is currently forming an ascending triangle here uh so that's that's what i think we have to look out for here if we um but looking at the macro picture uh we had a bullish breakout uh above this channel and very significant uh resistances on on previous highs so um you know we got some very interesting things to look out for in terms of v chain uh, we're currently up against resistance here due to these ranges here if we do see a breakout of this red line of this ascending triangle i think we're very likely to find our next stop at the uh 159 here at the top of this uh this peak here so that's kind of what i'm looking out for in terms of a uh, bullish breakout for our next immediate stop and then if we break down i think we're we're obviously likely to find support here at the 125 or our uh our uh 20 what is that the 50 ma on the four hour yeah basically around that range so guys uh, bottom line is we're in a sending triangle if we break up we're likely to do so you know uh, a good bit if we break down we're likely to fall to this red line uh for our first stop and perhaps we could see for the continuation guys in regards to v chain and xrp uh, really, we need to look out for what Ethereum doing, is doing, right? If Ethereum continues to break out bullishly, then the altcoins are likely to continue to do so as well. If Bitcoin decides to tank tomorrow, then it might take the rest of the market with it. Another thing as well, uh, in terms of XRP and the Spark Token airdrop, the um, and the snapshot that's happening December 11th to December 12th, depending where you are on this uh, green blue planet, uh, these are the participating partners. Okay, uh, so there's also going to be uh, this. I, I retweeted this on a million of the moon's uh, Twitter. You could find us on Twitter at at a million underscore or moon. Uh, or, no, no, sorry, it's um, it's a million. Just <laughs> yeah, there's a link down in the description, y'all, for, for our Twitter. So just check check out our, check out that link if you want to follow our Twitter. Also, I took a screenshot of this, put it up in our Discord. Like I said, guys, we're going to be putting a lot of interesting things, time sensitive things, uh, important resources such as this um, in our Discord. So check out our Discord as well. These are the participating parties within the Spark Token uh, snapshot slash uh, airdrop. Interestingly, Binance and Kraken are considering supporting uh, the snapshot, which if they do, that would be very interesting because you gotta you gotta think like if they go through the effort uh, to support the the snapshot, you know, it it might make sense that they'd also list it once it gets listed because it, it won't be distributed until like the first half of 2021 so you know maybe a few months away right but 
Um, interesting things to look out for here, guys. These are the exchanges that are currently supporting it. And guys, if we get Binance or Kraken listing Flare, Guys, all right, lots of interesting stuff going on here. All right, before I wrap up this video, I want to take the opportunity to talk about GSX. GSX is gold-backed cryptocurrency made by Apollo Fintech. I bring all this up because I'm about to describe what this is. If you like it and you want to participate in this thing, this brand new gold-backed cryptocurrency, um, down in the description below where it says 5% sign-up bonus. If you click on that link and you sign up and participate in this thing using that link, you get an additional 5% sign-up bonus. And I get, I get a commission based off that, so this is almost like a sponsorship. So now to run through uh, kind of what this is and... and and some of the interesting things about it is Apollo Fintech runs these gold mines. Half of the profits from these gold mines will go to actually backing the cryptocurrency itself. They're currently offering a 33% signup bonus. They're working on a Binance listing. They're selling it for 10 US cents. Now, this is their timeline right here. Okay, they claim that in three years' time, there'll be enough assets backing the coin to have an asset valuation of one US dollar per coin. So the, just be aware that the trading price may be more or less than the assets actually backing. And they're currently offering it uh, for 10 cents, so that would be a 10x. Um, you know, it's just something to consider. They pay yearly dividends and they will be, uh, a token burn will be happening. All right. Not to mention what I say is the biggest risk, the biggest con with this thing that we all need to be aware of is I have no idea how well Apollo Fintech is running these gold mines. They may be running them well. They may not be. I have no clue. So that's what I see as the biggest risk. Now this fell into my risk tolerances. I found this compelling enough that I decided to, to invest in this, but you guys need to decide what's best for yourself. This is not financial advice. I'm going to leave a link down to their website, their white paper in a video where I delve in depth to the pros and cons. So you guys can check all that stuff out. Please do your own research. And if you want to participate, like I said, link down in the description, please practice risk management, meaning don't invest anything you're not willing to lose. Uh, practice portfolio diversification and understand your own risk tolerances. Are you very uh, risk averse? Then maybe something safe like Bitcoin is is for you. Now, I, you know, I found this compelling enough and I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I like investing in, um, in riskier things because I, I think there's upside. Uh, although, you know, so I decided to invest in this, but just know that about yourself. Um, Guys, look, if we get a listing in four to six months, Bitcoin's pumping, Americans are printing trillions of dollars, uh, inflating assets such as uh, gold and, and Bitcoin, you know, I, I'm, I'm optimistic about this thing, y'all, but like, you know, do your own research, um, all that good stuff, and um, I think that's pretty much it, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around this long if you have. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.